Well, welcome to Wyoming Armory, right here in the heart and soul of American Vintage Firearms, Cody, Wyoming. Now, today I'm working on a really fun project, and I'm part way through it and trying to finish it up and get it ready for the Winchester Arms Collectors Association show that's right across town here in a week or so. What, what I'm working on here is a Winchester 1895, and of course, if you watch the channel much, you know I, I collect 1895s. But this one kind of broke my heart when I came across it. This was part of an estate, uh, and, and it's a really high condition uh, 7.62 by 54R 1895 Russian contract military musket. But like so many of them, it's been sporterized. The barrel's been cut down, the forend was cut down, the original uh, rear sight graduated in Russian arshins was missing. The front sight had been been lost with the, the front end of the barrel that was cut off and a ramp front sight installed. Hand guard was missing. Uh, stripper clip guides were missing. But these these Russian contract muskets were are very, very difficult to come by. But And most of them are in really rough condition. And this one's in really nice shape. So it really presented a problem for me. I, I, I wanted to, to put it back to original. But when I figured my chances of finding a high condition original barrel with a good blue and a good bore, I thought my chances were pretty much slim and none. Um, you know, mo most of these things were road hard and put away wet. And, and so I, I do have a replacement full length barrel for it, but it's in rough shape. So I guess the next step was I measured this barrel and lo and behold, 22 inches, which is the exact length of a 1895 carbine. Now if you watch my episode last year from the museum just a half mile down the road you know that the Winchester made at least one prototype 762 Russian uh, 1895 carbine and I did a, an episode on it and the folks at the museum were nice enough to let me handle it and show it to you folks. And so this was just after that that, that I came across this one and after measuring up the barrel I thought lo and behold here's, a, here's one that we don't have to replace the barrel. We can turn this into a another 1895 carbine. Now, as far as we know, there was the one over in the museum is the only one in existence, and I'm, I'm no way trying to make it fake. Um, but I just thought it would be cool to convert this one to to turn it into a carbine. Now, to put my money where my mouth is, serial number on this one is 399. 690. So if you ever come across a, a Russian car, contract carbine that somebody's trying to sell you as original, if it leaves my hands, um, you can tell them, you know, I, I know that's not original. So here's where we're at. Like so many of these 1895 military style muskets that have been sporterized, when they cut the barrel down, they cut the forend down as well. And they just lopped it off square out here. Fortunately for us, they lopped it out there far enough that we were able to cut it back and our, our, our stock maker here, Tony, just did a wonderful job of cutting it back and looking just like the uh, profile of the uh, 1895 carbine four ends. And we, we've stained it up and, and finished it to, to try to match the original finish on the rest of the four end here. And also missing on so many of these 1895 carbines and muskets is this um, top hand guard. Unfortunately, I, I had a spare. Uh, just for a project like this that might come along. Now these are really, really hard to come by. They're missing on so many of the carbines and muskets. So if you ever come by these and you don't need them, make sure and let me know because I, I, I've always got my eye out for those. Now the other thing that was missing was these stripper clip guides that are are unique to the Russian 1895s. And they're, they're, they take the same stripper clips as the Russian Mosins. Uh, but we, we had a couple of those to replace them with. The other thing that's, that's hard to come by, and we were lucky enough to have a, a spare in inventory, is the original rear sight for these Russian contract 1895s. And these are graduated in Russian arshins, which is about 28 inches. So kind of similar to yards, but not the same. And we were fortunate enough that, that the uh, uh, front barrel band and screw were, were still with the gun so we, we can reuse those. Now where we did run into some problems is on the sights and and so what had been done when this was sporterized is they had um, dovetailed in 
a rear sight here and, and a, an original Winchester 22 series rear sight but fortunately it was deep enough in there that there's still several threads left so when we go to put this this Russian rear sight on uh, we still got plenty of, of threads there to, to make that fit and then you, you, if you can see out here on the end this is where our real challenge has lying, lied is they had put this um, ramp style front side on and, it, and it's a screw on type here and when they installed it when we took this off and saw they had had a heck of a time locating that front side and you can see that there's there's three screw holes there and and so that actually ended up being kind of a godsend for us now we we had an, an original uh, pin pin on style 1895 front sight so what we were able to do is mill this off and our, our our lead gunsmith Keith does a wonderful job and one day he was looking for something to do so I asked him to mill that off and so we got that configured there um, we did a lot of uh, hand filing and configuring on this front sight to make it fit just right and so those we put screws in the bottom of this front sight as locators and also because they're threaded it's going to bite a whole lot more when we install that that front side in there so that's really where we're at now we've got that that side all polished up and matching the geometry of of those um, milled out section and we just need to now install that and when we get that done then it's just a matter of putting this all back together and just seeing how how close it looks to an original 1895 carbine now I just couldn't be happier with the way that side installation turned out. Keith did a wonderful job with the machining. Um, we feathered everything out to where it ma matches the barrel contour real nice. There aren't many people who could look at that and tell you that wasn't a factory installation. And um, you know, instead of, of using a solder on this one, because of the flux, when you've got original bluing like this, any of that flux that you have to use for soldering is an acid and it'll take the original bluing right off. So we chose instead to use a two-part epoxy and because of those screws that are in there, uh, it, it's really going to bond to make a nice, nice joint and that, that thing is in there for life. Alright, now we've got this front sight installed and so now it's time to put this old girl back together and just see how everything looks as a package. Now the first thing we're going to do in putting this thing back together is very, very important. When you're dealing with these hand guards for these 1895s, they're very delicate. They break easy. A lot of them have been broken. And what most people kind of think of is that we would just take this with these steel clips in here and shove it down over the barrel. But what that does is many, many, many times we'll just crack that hand guard. So it really has to slide down the barrel. So we turn the, turn the barrel upside down, slide this down, turn it around here, and slide it down into place. And it goes on hard even doing it this way, the correct way. Okay, that looks about right. So let's see if we've got to where this hand, the fore end will go on. There we go. Boy, I'm liking the looks of that already. Okay, then we're going to put in our barrel band, and we always want our barrel band to to face from from the head of the screw on the left hand side. We're going to put the screw in from the left hand side. That's the way Winchester installed them so if you're going to do it correctly that's the way it goes see if we can get all this to line up here sometimes it's a bugger to get this to line up oh there we go and okay so now all we've got to do is put these stripper clip guides on and this russian contract rear sight and we're ready to go. Now these these stripper clip guides only go on one way and you see there's a groove that's offset towards the front side of this one and so that's that groove has to go towards the front of the receiver. They, they absolutely those stripper clips will not function properly if we have them backwards. Uh, we won't be able to load those rounds in using those those clips that way. Okay. 
Okay. There was one. They're kind of long-winded little buggers. And a little bit stiff. There we go. Alright, starting to look like a Russian contract gun now, isn't it? <laughs> so, now we'll put this rear sight on. Remember we had a dovetail there, but we've got plenty of threads in the bottom of that dovetail where that goes in there. Fits perfectly in that handguard. We'll get these screws started here. This one. All right, there we go. One Russian contract, eighteen ninety five carbine and seven six two by fifty four rammed. <laughs> That's a dandy. Again, serial number 399-690. So, we're not trying to fool anybody, but we did make a, what is, by all appearances, a, a beautiful um, Russian contract carbine here. Okay, so we finished up this Russian carbine uh, project just in time. You see, tomorrow's setup day at the Winchester Arms Collectors Association show right here in Cody. And uh, we wanted to get this one on the table, just see what kind of reaction we get out of it. But, of course, before we take it to the show and, and possibly sell it and not, not have the opportunity, we had to come out here to the, to the Cody Shooting Complex and, and put a few rounds through it today. And we also brought out, just for fun, and to compare a fully intact Russian musket in 762 by 54 So we're going to shoot a few rounds through both of these old girls. Now, just for the fun of it, we're going to put three rounds through each of these. And I wasn't smart enough to bring out any uh, Mosin stripper clip guides, <laughs> stripper clips. So we're just going to load them like we normally would. The butt of the cartridge down, front of the cartridge down. Okay, now a guy, if he's smart, will put his earplugs in. Underneath this cover here, it gets loud. Okay, here we go. Original 1895 Russian contract musket, 7.62 by 54 rimmed. <laughs> oh, I love it. Man, this thing cycles beautifully. That's a pretty rough old gun. This one obviously did go to uh, Europe and went through uh, obviously some combat and then went through an arsenal refurb. We can see some some uh, work that's been done on the wood and and it's had an old, old refinish with no polish or whatnot. Uh, kind of a dull, almost uh, uh, matte type finish that the, the arsenals did. Okay, now let's try out this newly made carbine. Hopefully it feeds just as nicely and shoots just as nicely as that rifle. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Just a little sticky. Sometimes we get, there's a, there's a hook on the, the uh, levers on these 1895 second models and sometimes if we got a little too aggressive angle it really really digs in and, and tries to keep you from cycling. We'll look at the brass a little bit make sure we didn't have 
some kind of a problem in the chamber that was causing that, but it wasn't. It was that. Okay, one more shot. Yep, same thing. Just have to smooth that up just a little bit when I get it back to the shop. Okay, one more shot. <laughs> well, there you go. An almost original 1895 Russian carbine. Now, as I mentioned, it's going to the to the Winchester show tomorrow. Um, if you're in, anywhere in the area, make sure and stop by and see the show. It is just a fabulous, fabulous show. And of course, as always, if you're not a member of the Winchester Arms Collectors Association, make sure and join. You'll never regret it. Well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, happy trails from the Cody Shooting Complex in Cody, Wyoming.